So I'm a pretty curious guy, and one of the things that I've wondered for quite a while is why does Linux use a penguin for their mascot? I thought that maybe there was this really awesome philosophy behind why they chose a penguin, but I'd never actually been curious enough to, you know, actually look it up until today. So what I thought I'd do today is talk about why Linux uses the penguin as their mascot. And the story is both hilarious and also kind of boring. So we're going to talk about the hilarious one after the boring one, because that's the way YouTube works. You got to keep people entertained, man. But let's just, you know, move past that. So the, the boring and most likely the realistic reason why the Penguin is the mascot for Linux is because the Linux mailing group put together a contest for a logo. And one of the people who took part in that contest knew that Linus Torvalds had a, an obsession with, a, with penguins. And therefore, he submitted a penguin to the contest, and Linus Torvald selected that logo as the mascot. That's the reason why they use a penguin as the mascot. Now, the other story that kind of goes along with that is related to Linus Torvald's obsession with penguins. So, there's this story that he was in Australia one time at the National Zoo, and apparently he got bit by penguins. And he came down with a, with a disease called penguinitis, which he says made him stay up at night thinking about penguins and realizing that he had a great love for them. Now, we're all pretty sure that he never actually got bitten by a penguin, but that's what he has said multiple times in many different quotes. And whether or not he's just, you know, being consistent with his joking or if he actually got bit by a penguin, I don't know. But there's a whole lore around this penguin now that has somehow chased Linus Torvalds through the streets of a zoo in Australia and then attacked him. There's a ton of different stuff online, if you were interested enough to look into it, where people are talking about this penguin that apparently attacked Linus Torvalds and then inspired him to make Linux. Now, the actual history behind the logo itself is kind of interesting if you're, uh, you know, a history buff. So it was originated in 1996. It was put into the contest by a guy named Alan Cox, who was the maintainer for the version 2.2 of the Linux kernel. And then the actual mascot itself was designed by a man named Larry Ewing e e in the GIMP program. So it was designed in free software, which is awesome. And then the name Tux was first coined by a guy named James Hughes, who has said that it stands for Torvalds Unix. And it also obviously correlates with a penguin wearing a tuxedo. Like, you know, it looks like a tuxedo. So that is the history of the Tux logo. The weird thing is if you, I'll, I will paste it up here, that the original version of the logo is what appears to be a figurine of a penguin that is grinding his teeth and is either holding a fish or a potato has like snorkel goggles on and has pink feet it's a really weird weird inspiration for the logo but that was the inspiration for the logo like i said i will put it up here so you can actually see and then uh, you can kind of see where the transition between that and what tux has become Apparently, the reason why Linus Torvalds chose the penguin in the first place wasn't only because of his story of being bit by a penguin, but because he was looking for something fun to associate with Linux, and he felt that a slightly fat sitting down penguin that was sitting down after having a great meal was a perfect fit for the bill. Uh, the, the point is, is that that was kind of the reason why he chose Tux to, you know, the penguin to begin with. So. The interesting thing about all this stuff is that the stories that were kind of created because of Linus Torvald's jokes about being bitten by a penguin have just kind of spread across the internet over the last 30 years, and some of them are utter, utterly hilarious. So I highly recommend doing a Google search for that kind of stuff, and you'll probably find some really entertaining stories. So uh, just a quick video for today. I had uh, no time to do anything else, so I decided to do this quick video, uh, even though it didn't turn out to be so quick because I had to do it a second time, but whatever. If you have comments about this, you can leave those in the comment section below. If you would like more inane Linux-related content, you can hit that big red subscribe button. We're 
fastly approaching 12,000 subscribers, which is just nuts because it was like just at 10,000 like a month ago, which is, like I said, absolutely crazy. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed. You can follow me on Twitter at the LinuxCast. You can follow me on Mastodon at Fostodon.com at the LinuxCast. And you can support me on Patreon at Patreon.com slash LinuxCast. And I'd like to thank my current patrons, Robert Sid, Devon Patrick, Fred Kramer, Meglin, Jackson, Ivan Tools, Steve A, Cyberg, Linux, Garrick, Samuel, KB, TGB, Keith, Andy, Uncle Bonehead, Tri Devil, Mitchell, J Dog, Carbon Data, Jeremy, Sean, Odin, Marnie, Roth, Eduardo, Art Center, Elliot, Merrick, Camp, Josh, Lee, Peter A, Crucible, Dark, Minute 6, Primus, and PM. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.